to those libertarians, they're at a crossroads between a far right ideology or spectrum of thought and that libertarian baggage. If you're in the middle, basically you have all the social viewpoints of someone in the far right or most of them tend to get along with them better because they take your analysis and observations with more honesty and they don't just say you're racist, sexist, homophobic, bigot, dumbass, and bread retard. But you still hold some of those libertarian principles. This is my open message to you. Because basically September 2012 through I'd say early December I was in that uh, transition and the only reason it was that long was because I wanted to keep an open mind I didn't want to just alienate people out of the blue but of course there's people that go through several years worth of transitioning and basically they're still thinking through all this shit. I'm thinking this is my message to you. You can either be one or the other. Choose one. That's just it. I'm, I'm going to tell you that straight up. I don't like those crossroader niggas. I don't like that eh I don't know type of guy. You either bite the bullet or you get the fuck out, nigga. Uh, of course, that is very harsh and mean-spirited, and it's not in my character to say shit like that. Uh, but there is a reason why I'm saying that. And the fact is that libertarians are mostly Taos. They're mostly people that are socially honest. I mean, they're internally honest. They're always trying to find the truth out at the cost of the social advantages of that. When you're looking for the truth, when you're looking for what really works, and you're not really interested in all that social baggage, I mean, say what you want but telling people how you really feel how you really think that costs a lot lies are reassuring that's why we tell them and when libertarians are trying to be economically honest and politically and socially honest what they honestly feel sometimes because they're Dallas is that they want to escape that hierarchy, especially if it's full of dumbass Cro-Mags that constantly bully them in the schools, in the work environments, in the streets, in the political spectrum. Sometimes you just want to say, uh, fuck it, let's just go back to the fucking cave. Because that cave is looking type awesome now. Everyone kind of wants to be a troglodyte every now and then. But of course, if you're going to go back to the fucking cave, there's plenty of caves now. There's the internet. The internet's a very obscure cave. Of course, the internet is a little too obscure for me. not a good way to spend your time wait until you're 40 on the internet where you can preach your utopian sci-fi viewpoints uh, it's fun for a while uh, but it's not fully advantageous because the douchebags are still going to be there. The dumbasses are still going to be there. The trolls are still going to be there. Everywhere. 
And so sometimes you just want to take action against them. And it's not going to be in the cave. You're really going to have to go to a far right viewpoint. You're going to have to take something that is full of force, full of violent initiations, and full of stuff that's quite intimidating. And you're going to have to put all that shit together and use it to essentially throw back the Chromex or the dumbasses, uh, let's see, just the douchebags of the world, the violent police officers that also happen to be Dalits, uh, people like that. You want to take advantage of the fact that you are human and therefore nothing human is alien to you. You want to take advantage of the fact that you can hold on to viewpoints, you can associate with people that do want to react against the nastiness of this world. But you're not going to be able to do that in the fucking cave. So if you have your foot out the door, uh, either put the next foot out, or put that foot you took out back into the door, and lock yourself in there. Because people that tend to be in that obscurity side, they're just showing emotional weakness. And we live in a world where there's no more time for weakness. There's plenty of avenues where weakness will sleep through. Humans all have weakness. But you can't dabble in that weakness way too much. You're going to get gynecomastia, you're going to get the man tits, that lactate, and you're going to want someone to suck those nipples. That's just the way it is, man. You can channel that weakness into something that is powerful. But if you fuck around with it too much without exercising it properly, then you're just better off as a neckbeard with a Linux computer sitting around your mom's basement. Again, it's a very snarky thing to say, and I'm a little disgusted by what I'm saying. But take it like this. I know tons and tons of people that essentially are staying in the same sort of halfway point. And that annoys me for some reason. I don't know, maybe it brings, you can psychologize it however the fuck you want, but it does kind of take me off. It's like, dude, what the fuck are you doing here, man? You gotta make up your mind. You can't just say, Bitcoin, fuck yeah. Uh... Then Golden Dawn, fuck yeah. You, you gotta pick one, nigga. You gotta pick one, cause... I tell you, the guys that pick the full libertarian side, it's very amusing, but at least they're consistent. You're a racist? Hey, everybody, this guy's a racist. Don't associate with this guy. Expecting a pat on the head. I mean, fuck this guy, he should be killed. Or I like the anti-natalist retards, the ones that are like, okay, every hour there's a child rapist that's fucking someone and busting that nut. Man, people are so sick, they should just die. I mentioned in a previous fucking video, but seriously, when people go full obscurity, it, it, it's just hilarious. Would you want that? Would you fucking want that? Because I know I certainly wouldn't. I mean, these, a lot of these Aspie niggas, these style niggas that haven't made up their mind and they fall completely into obscurity, half the time they just want to be edgy and respected at the same time. It's really interesting. They want to advocate for stuff like mass murder. At the same time, if you call out a racial narrative, they're like, no, fuck you. 
They, they want to shame you, they want to feel publicly like they're a hero. While saying all this classless, degenerate shit. They want to, they want the best of both worlds. And that's, that's not Gucci. It's not Gucci. What's the point? They're, they're not funny people. They try to be funny, but they're more smarmy and snarky. They don't have that what they think they do. That's why when these niggas start trolling on me, they start commenting, and they start insulting me, I'm like, nigga, you ain't ruined my day. You didn't even ruin my minute, nigga. I'm Gucci. I feel good, nigga. And so, I do recommend you go all the way, go to a really far right spectrum of thought, because you're going to feel a lot more intellectually pleased. I mean, you're reading books upon books, deferring property rights and all this other shit, versus the rights liberals love to talk about. These semantic games are boring. They're not satisfying, and they don't really teach you a lot about this world. Other than the fact that if you ask for other people's stuff, you can't expect that you're entitled to it. Really, thanks for that eye-opener. Uh, that almost sounds phoned in. Yes, it's a lot better than modern liberalism. Or the little shards of it that are internally fighting against each other. At the same time, who cares? Who gives a fuck? It's not going to be substantial for anyone that is trying to be intellectually satisfied. Because to be intellectually satisfied, you need a viewpoint that establishes absolutes. That makes conclusions that are more than just semantic games. And it, even if it diverges from what you might think is wrong. I know the idea that slavery is a good thing, that that might violate a few people. I've always been hit or miss with that idea ever since 2010 or 2009. But guess what? Uh, you, you can your ethics can be expanded upon, they can be perfected. You can make shit work for you. And you're not going to make anything work for you if you stay in that crossroads. Because nobody likes that crossroads, nigga. They, they can't trust him. What if he decides to revert into full liberalism and he calls out, you, out on you and shit like that? Or... What if you're that libertarian douche and you're trying to associate with that guy in the crossroads and then goes full right uh, and you just start calling you a homo? You see, you lose either way. So either you delve into the far right, you, you go full Bulbasaur, or you essentially play in that Mises Institute message board and fuck around there until you're 95 and your liver explodes while it's still inside you. So this is Mr. Wonka 7. Remember guys that you gotta respect the king. I've got love for each and every one of you guys. Even the trolls, even the haters, even the critics. And even the centers. So suck my dick.